Hey! Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's go through this door that we open by playing Zelda's Lullaby and see what's through here. This appears to be the place that is going to be leading me to the mirror shield, which makes me quite happy to say the least. But, uh, but I'm kind of puzzled as to what is in this. There's probably a switch under those crates. So I shouldn't say that I'm puzzled just yet. <laughs> Whoa, those chains are actually solid. I can't believe it. Usually you can just jump right through chains in this game. Ah, there's that. Rusty switch. And eh. Eh. Ah, uh, there's a sun switch there. Alright, let's just get the Megaton Hammer. Boink. And boink. That opens that up there. Very nice. And let's go. Green bubble. That's a green bubble. It's, uh, I think it's just like a regular bubble, except it's a lot larger and it doesn't really get stunned. It's also pretty wimpy, as you can see. <laughs> that was extremely wimpy. You. Yes, you. The one with the green fire. And Din Lofos. This is a, an, uh, or maybe it's Dean Lofos, I don't know. Uh, it's, it's just basically another variation of the Lizophos. It's, it's battled exactly the same, except it's got a slightly longer range sword, and I am doing terrible against it because my, I, kept, I keep losing my Z targeting. <laughs> Normally I just um, immediately block it as soon as I would, uh, uh, yeah, you get the idea. Anyway, um, okay, that one I can turn, but this one I can. I don't think it has to be down this way. Um, I get the feeling that there's a bombable wall around here. It just looks like those kinds of walls, if you know what I mean. But actually, uh, let's see, it's follow it, follow it. Um, oh, wait, 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 there is something here. Invisible something. Ah, it's pointed this way. It's a key. Delightful, but yeah, even if I move that thing, I won't be able to activate the sun switch in the other room without the key. I, I mean, without the mirror shield, excuse me. So, yeah. Oh, I did not mean to jump off there. Okay, so I got the, a key. So that means I can now go through this room. Wah! And this, oh no. Oh, Skull too long. Oh, there's one behind there. Ah, this must be... And there's one behind here. These are those chairs that these guys normally sit on. Okay, I, I'm going to need your assistance. You're a different color, but you're still an iron knuckle. <laughs> so you shouldn't have much trouble blasting these things to kingdom come with your uh, axe of despair. There we go. <laughs> That's one. Um, is it worth taking out that one I should probably take like if I were to just leave this guy alone I mean if I were if I wouldn't break these things apart excuse me with this guy would I be able to get those gold skulltulas because these feel like something that would actually be missable and that's kind of cheap if you ask me <laughs> I mean you get this far into the game and then you know you lose out on an item, or I should say a uh, skull to law, because this guy wouldn't cooperate with you or something like that, or you just simply don't get them at the time, and yeah, you get the idea. So what what would happen if you actually didn't have this guy uh, break those things apart? Would you actually miss those skull to laws, or is there some other way of getting them? Because. I, I don't think there's any other way of getting them, unless this guy respawns, but I'm pretty sure once you beat an Iron Knuckle, they're gone for good. And he's almost done. These uh, jump slash attacks actually make this make these Iron Knuckle fights a lot faster than I, ex I expected, even when I did it as a kid. Um, so, okay, was that just for those two gold Skulltulas? That one surprised me. <laughs> I didn't see anything else in here, and there better not be a key underneath one of these things. 
Otherwise, I'm gonna be ticked off. Well, I don't see anything else, so I'm just gonna trust that there's nothing else and just move on, I suppose. And... Actually, what? Where else... Do I have left? There's that one, which likely contains the, uh... Mirror sh Oh, wait. Then there's that back at the first room, which I haven't been led back to yet. Hmm. But that that first room, I need the mirror shield to even get back through because of those silver rupees. Because you know I have to come through there from the water side. Okay, there's got to be something that I'm missing around here. Although... There's got to be something that makes that... Well, then again, even if I... Pff, even if I successfully manage to get the light over there as I'm supposed to, I'm still missing the mirror shield. Because you see, you're supposed to make the light bounce all the way around here, and then it'll hit that mirror, of which then you reflect onto that sun switch. With your mirror shield. But I don't have the mirror shield, and I don't know where to get the mirror shield. <laughs> well, there's that pathway on the third floor. Uh, I guess I'll go try and open that door. Okay, I've been at this room for the, like, past half hour or so, and I think I've got the solution to it. You do this to make both Song of Time blocks move over to this spot. See how they kind of stack up on top of each other? That prevents you from moving the top one away from the bottom one. And even if you get underneath it and in between it, it still doesn't work. So what you should do is now move the bottom block back over here on top of this greenish-bluish switch. That's good. And now what you want to do is go back over here play the Song of Time one last time and what it should do is drop that crate down onto the bottom box, the bottom Song of Time block. The reason why that works is because it offsets the uh, block's positioning basically. It's it, you have to get them away from their to their movement cycle basically. And what that does is it, it gets the bottom one away from the top one while keeping the top one from dropping this crate into the abyss. Oh boy, that one took a while. But I'm going in here and I think I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next part. Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. This was the door I entered in the last part but I decided to leave just because, you know, I figured it'd be kind of hard to start right in the middle of things. <laughs> so here we are versus another pair of Lizafos, well I should say Dinlafos, and strangely just like the Staffos, these guys do not, I should say the other one does not attack you when you are Z-targeting or excuse me L-targeting the other one. For whatever reason, I have no idea why. I guess enemies have a sense of honor in this game. Honor and decency. And you are going down despite your honor and decency. I'm sorry, but it is fair game. And that's just how things gotta go. And I, yes, I know there's a treasure chest, but it's kind of dangerous to open it as of right now. Is this going to freeze me if I open it? Yes! <laughs> I recall these treasure chests being in this dungeon. They're basically trap chests. They're pretty hilarious, actually. I always found them to be pretty funny, actually. Uh, well, I see that there is this Song of Time block here, and let's see if there's something that I can do about this thing. I'm sure there is, of course, but it, is that something that I desire? I don't know. It, it looks like I need the mirror shield even over here. But that doesn't really make much sense, considering that I didn't see any other pathways on my map that I could have gone to. Like you'll notice, see on the map, there's the only thing on the first floor there, but I believe that comes... I mean, you go to that place to get those chests from the second floor. 
if I'm not mistaken. So, there's probably some solution to this, because as you see, there's two locked doors in this room. So, and they have the other way. <laughs> there's probably like a switch somewhere, perhaps, maybe, could be, might be. Hmm, let's just take a quick gander around this room and see what is up. Ah, there was something in there, or something in general that happens that has to do with this chest. I have no idea. I just Z-targeted the thing, and yeah, you you seen what happened. <laughs> so anyway, let's see what's through here. I'm expecting a skull to... Aha! Invisible Floor Master! And you and your buddies are going down. Why am I not getting any? Oh, that's right, because I have the Lens of Truth out. And whoops, I need to... There we go. <laughs> I couldn't see what I was hitting, but I had to get them all before they respawn into some regular Floor Masters. And they just keep multiplying. Ah, and you know the feeling. Anyway, I don't see anything else in this room, so... Yeah, I was right about the ambush, that's for sure. Is this another Iron Knuckle room? Come on, man, get some originality around here. <laughs> but maybe I should get him to knock over all these pillars first, just in case, you know, they're ow. <laughs> just in case there's any skull tulas around the vicinity. You've seen what happened around the other area. As you can see, I'm not really all that concerned about taking hits. <laughs> I've got four fairies. A bunch of hearts from these pillars, and yeah, you get the idea. So, come on, do your, uh, whatever the heck he's saying. It looks like he's, maybe he's really constipated or something in that suit. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I'm not gonna go and delve into that any further. I'm just gonna let him destroy these pillars in a very angry fashion. Come on. There we go. I don't hear any skull to loves, but I'm just being very cautious considering that other room, you know, had potentially missable skull to loves. And I really don't want to miss anything at this point in the walkthrough since it's so very, very, very late in the game. And alright, time to just attack you normally now. And you're going down, you sucker. <laughs> you're gonna do your uh, infinite loop thing? That would be very nice if you would, actually. Yeah, that's. That's something that I... Ah, I mistimed it. <laughs> That's something that makes me very happy when you do that. Yeah, there goes your armor. Oh, would you look at that. Someone's dying. Someone's dying. It's not me, because I have 19 hearts and 4 fairies. <laughs> Talk about overkill. And I'm going to be getting one more, I should say, the last heart container at the end of this dungeon. So, yeah. That's gonna be quite awesome. <laughs> and we end up outside once again. We get a treasure chest that for some reason drops out of the sky. I mean, where the heck did that drop out of anyway? Just, wow. <laughs> and we get. Oh, I think you know what we get. We get the mirror shield. Yeah, baby! This shield can reflect light. It is the greatest shield in the game. <sighs> and now we can solve all of Dungeon's puzzles. I'll show you how this works in the room. Thanks for interrupting me there, chicken. <laughs> I'll show you how this works in the... Aha, so these do respawn. So how would you get those Skulltulas back in that other room? See that? Even this, this thing right here... The, this chair that he was sitting on, those are the kinds of chairs that were in that Skulltula room a few rooms back. So I don't know how you would get those Skulltulas should you uh, fail to make him break those things. Why must you be here again? You know what? Just like I did with the Staffles, it's time for some ownage. And no, I need to be L-targeting first and now I can start destroying you. <laughs> I don't have a shield to block their attacks this way, but the the fact, I mean, the reason why you use the Bigoron Sword is because you want to just attack, 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 and just never stop attacking. And you get the idea. 
Oh, this is kind of annoying that you have to move this block just to reflect light onto the sun, and then you're going to have to move the block back over. Doesn't that seem a little bit, like, excessively annoying? Anyway, I would like to put away my sword, because you can't take out your shield when you have the sword out, and you see the reflection like that, just redirect it with the control stick towards the sun, and the door will magically open. I guess they're light-sensitive switches. Maybe they're electronic or something in that day and age. <laughs> Technology before their time, I suppose. And there we go. Let's see what's through here. It's a Gibdo. You know what? There we go. <laughs> yeah! And... Wow! What? One hit kill! See, I told you the sword was broken. Anyway, here's the boss key, I suppose, in its fancy gold and blue treasure chests with blurry gemstones de decorating it. It looks sort of like the color of the boss key. See those little gemstones that are in the corners and next to the lock there? Yeah, those are very, very blurry. <laughs> anyway... Stop appearing! I don't want to play with you anymore! Um, wait, 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 actually, what? where am I supposed to go from here? Wasn't there another... Yeah, back at the... Oh! Down is death. <laughs> I've told you that a million times, and yet I don't follow my... Oh, boy! Oh, my own uh, words there. And, yeah, I believe I'm just supposed to go through here, back to the main room. Which is over here. And then, I uh, no, I don't want to target. <laughs> I want to go... By the way, people keep telling me about that owl. That ice switch frozen in ice. It just opens the door underneath it when you unfreeze it and then shoot the thing. Weren't you paying attention? <laughs> anyway... So, I guess there's Wallmaster. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's... Oh, oh, yeah, this was the staff hole stream that I just basically destroyed because I have the big Oron sword and because I didn't really feel like messing around with these guys anymore. And, ow. <laughs> uh, maybe these guys are a bit easier to defeat without the big Oron sword, but sometimes you can penetrate their shield flat out just like that, which is what you're aiming to do. Uh, sometimes you can even get it, get through it with the uh, tip of your sword. As you see, I'm not really caring all that much about these guys <laughs> right nowadays, so... Uh, although that incessant beeping is probably going to get on my nerves, but that uh, Wallmaster there is going to pop out, and I can just one-hit kill it. Oh, no, no hearts. I thought it was going to give me some hearts. And I'll just, yeah, do this thingy. Voila! <laughs> and put this away. Like, no, no, Navi. She she popped out and that's why I couldn't do the thing. Okay, so that was the wrong one. Oh, that made uh, another Wallmaster appear, apparently. Which is going to be killed immediately. For some more pocket change. What is this one? The wrong one again, apparently. <laughs> it's always the last one, I suppose. <laughs> Because you won't, after you get it, you won't have to look anymore. No, wait, I want to put this away. That's another thing about the big Goron sword, is that it's a little bit... In, what? What? Did you see that? Maybe I'm just supposed to kill all the enemies and... Ah, okay, it is just a kill room. So all the switches were correct. It's just the fact that you have to kill all the enemies that spawn from them. Okay. So I'm going to hop down here blindly! Uh, just some... Plain old blade traps. We've seen these way back in the second dungeon, and I'm not really putting much effort into dodging them, as you can see. Uh, 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 oh, I dodged them. <laughs> um, anything in here? This this room seems kind of suspicious. I mean, it's just like a hallway with some blade traps and so. Oh, oh, this is back at the main room. Um, so we got those. I bet you that treasure chest is. Um. I hope I don't have to use the Megaton Hammer for that. But I betcha the... Yeah, there's a switch here. Oh, you have to use the Megaton Hammer here anyway, so I guess I... 
blah -de -de blah blah and this will open the water wait I, I don't want to set that off just yet because I had yeah I had to get that silver rupee there well this is gonna be kind of tricky because if I don't get this on my first run what's gonna happen is that I will have to walk all the way around the dungeon to get back over to this spot, and that's gonna suck. Alright, and there we go. And now the other two, I hope there's only these two left, are over here. And over here, which should give me a key, I think. Hey, wait a second. If this gives me a key to open that other locked door, that means I have to go around the dungeon anyway! How dare you! And look at that, we're back here. <laughs> so, here, whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. Wait, actually, I came from... Oh, there's a... I didn't notice that before. It's a three-path split here. Oh, poopers. What is... Oh, it's just a Triforce symbol. What is that? Gold skull to love. Good thing I caught that. And that's number four of the dungeon. There should only be one left. We are, yeah, not quite complete. 98 skull to love so far. And do, 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 do. You know what to do whenever you see a Triforce symbol. Play the Zelda's lullaby right now. Oh, that just opens the door. What? <laughs> oh wait wait wait! I'm supposed to. I'm supposed to drop down there, aren't I? I'm gonna do that. Ah! I knew there would be stuff down here. I'm going to do one of these dealios and try and kill as many of those as I possibly can. Because unless they just keep spawning, which is very possible. Um. Yeah, I think they just keep spawning, if I'm not mistaken. Wait, wait, was that a purple one? What the heck was that? I'd never seen that before. Maybe it's because i never been through this path before. Because remember, as I said, I never 100% of this game before, and yeah. I, I always recall... I mean, that might be just something that leavers do when you attack enough of them. Is that a purple one appears? Whatever they do. Uh, just a purple rupee. Not all that important, I suppose. But the Skultula in this room was the real prize. So, let's go unlock the door. And see what's beyond it. Hey, don't get caught on the corner, Link. <laughs> There's a switch. Roly-poly room here with some skateboarding ramps. Uh, what does this thingy do? It opens that gate. There's a Song of Time block up there for whatever reason. There <laughs> what the heck? Why is that guy there? That's one of the guys from uh, the Lost Woods. Uh, I gotta use arrows on him if I wanna hit, kill him from a distance. It's one of those moblins that you that shoot shockwaves across the ground towards you. But I thought they could only do it in a small hallway. Unless maybe they can, that's the trick here, is that you have to dodge the boulders and his uh, center shots of shockwaves. Well, I guess I can just jump right down here now. And... What is this? A crate? What? That's a Lon Lon milk crate. What if... Can I, like... No. Maybe they're just, like, to mark each of those things or something like that. Oh, there's a sun switch over there, but it's active. Why is it active? <laughs> maybe this, maybe those things above there really are just to mark the things and... Well, I see that Song of Time block. So... Song of Time. Although... Why did it just have a do-do-do-do-do thing to indicate that I was supposed to play a certain song here? Maybe that was the song I was supposed to play? Oh, 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 oh! I get it! These represent different songs! Like, the- I bet you this is Epona's song. 
Because the other one had the Song of Time block, so I played the Song of Time inside it. And I bet you that Sun is the one that... Ow. <laughs> has the Sun Song, or I should say the one that you have to play the Sun Song in. Very clever programming, but not clever enough. I'm surprised I still have all these songs memorized. <laughs> And I'm surprised I even got the hit for once! That's really surprising. Um, which one of those open? I don't want to drive myself face first into the boulder again. Okay, what is this, this one here? This one's nothing. <laughs> or at least I don't see anything. Hold on a sec. I'm going to... Just look around and then... Hmm. <laughs> well, it's something, I suppose. How about... Scarecrow song for the fun of it. I doubt it, though. Yeah, I don't see anything about this one, so I don't know which song I'm supposed to play. How? Maybe because there's nothing I'm supposed to conjure something? Let's try... Saria Song or the Song of Storms. Mm. You know what? Sure, what the heck. <laughs> Just as long as I played the song. Yes, I can hear you, even though it's in all text. Um, don't worry, I'll get them all together. Uh, yeah, I know that I kind of have been showing that for this walkthrough. No, 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 thank you. <laughs> Will this be it? Um, can I actually play these? Or I should say these without warping my self somewhere like let's try the uh oops it's uh no 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 it's do 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 ah, okay there we go <laughs> i probably should have just checked my menu there to uh remember this song it's been a while since i warped back and forth no that was apparently wrong. <laughs> am I am I missing something here? Song, song of time. How about Zelda's lullaby? I don't see any Triforce symbols, but what the heck? Because I don't believe the warping songs are ever used for anything other than warping. Um, didn't I play that in here earlier? Didn't I? I don't get it. I'm gonna try Zelda's Lullaby in this newly open place. Yeah, why Why did they want me to play the Song of Storms that... Okay, that works there. Uh, sorry for that little cut there. Uh, the camera sort of ran out of memory. I had it on the HD setting that only lets me record for so and so long at a time, so it wasn't actually a memory loss, excuse me, it was more along the lines of the camera couldn't record anymore. So anyway, if you didn't get get that, this one, you play the Song of Storms in, that unmarked one, this one you play Zelda's Lullaby in. And that opens this door over here, which leads me to, oh my god! <laughs> This is scary! Okay, maybe it's not that scary, but that was a very tricky surprise attack. Just remember that uh, your long shot here is defense penetrating to the Skulltulas, so you shouldn't have any trouble taking care of all of these. But where is... Ah, there you are, my scratchy friend! Yahoo! And that's the last one of the dungeon. And what does this give me? 
This gives me... yeah, purple rupee. So I think that's all I'm going to be doing in this part, and I'll see you guys in the next part when I meet you back at the fourth floor, where those uh, mirror room thingies were. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Hope you enjoy, and I'll see you then.